Hi, and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. Hi, so today we're going to learn how to model three month subscriptions. This is a continuation of the a video where we did one month subscription. So now we're going to see what to do if the term um, of the subscription is longer than one month. So what we're going to try to determine is um, how much money you make uh, from three month subscriptions with the one month free trial. What we need to do is to understand how many free trials we have. And that's what we have to figure out years one to five. Again, this is done based on your go-to-market strategies. You can look at our other videos to see how to model those. Uh, we have a one month free trial, of course, for your case that may be different, uh, subscription price and the subscription and renewal rates, right? If you don't have any data, they would come from what's accepted in the industry initially. Okay, so let's see how we can model three month subscriptions with a one month free trial. So here we've got the free trial of one month, a subscription price of $50, a conversion rate of 20% and a renewal rate of 80%. As an input to this scenario, we're going to do, um, we're going to do um, uh, 12 months, right? Uh, we've got the beginning number of leads and the growth rate. Right, so normally you would calculate it from your model, right? So here, this is an input, but normally you would calculate it based on your go-to-market strategies. So what we do is we simply multiply our um, the previous month's number by the growth rate, right? So then the uh, number of new paid subscriptions, right? Um, this will be um, uh, based on the one month free trial. So we'll convert next month. So what we need to do is use the floor function to uh, round things down because we can have partial subscription, take the number of leads or free trials and multiply by the conversion rate, right? And we want to anchor the conversion rate so that when we paste the formula down, we it can use the same rate, right? So then what happens next? Uh, let's calculate how many subscriptions we have. Um, so we're going to start with zero. This is assuming that this is month number one. And then we're going to link the number of new paid subscriptions to what we calculated above, right? Uh, and then to have it formatted correctly, I'm going to use the formatting function. I'm just going to paste that forward, okay? Now, um, the subscriptions up for renewal are going to be zero until month four, at which point they are going to be the sum of the new subscriptions plus whatever has been renewed, right? And then we can piece that formula down. Now, a number of active subscriptions will be those that we started with minus those that have come up for renewal, right? So this is subscriptions that don't need to renew yet. So this will be the number of beginning subscriptions minus those that are up for renewal and we can paste that number uh, down as well. Okay, don't worry, this is uh, zero right now because we haven't yet completed our logic, right? This is an important um, distinction here that when you have a subscription term of more than one month, okay, you calculate the subscriptions up for renewal and you calculate separately the number of subscriptions which are still active. Now the renew subscriptions are gonna be calculated with a floor function of taking the number of subscriptions times uh, that are up for renewal times the renewal rate. And we're going to anchor it as well and round down to uh, zero decimal points, right? And finally, the number of ending subscriptions is going to be the number of um, new subscriptions plus the number of active subscriptions, plus the number of those subscriptions that have been renewed. This is what you will end up with, right? So again, it's the number of new subscriptions and the number of active subscriptions and the number of renewed subscriptions, right? And for the beginning, you just simply link it to the ending number of subscriptions from the previous month, right? So now we need to calculate the number of paying subscriptions, and this will be the sum of either new or renewed. Active subscriptions do not pay, right? Because you only pay when the term of the subscription expires. And the final step in the puzzle is to take the number of paying subscriptions and multiply that by the subscription price, right? And paste that down, okay? 
And so we will we'll see that based on these assumptions, which of course are all made up, we are making a total of, um, let's see, uh, $4 million, right? $4 million in the first year, which is, by the way, not bad if you're actually able to produce that number. And there we go. Please, if you like this video, share with your friends, comment below. And to learn more, sign up to our YouTube channel. And to learn how to model uh, your startup and create credible financials and accelerate your funding process, sign up for our free masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.